24.6. Well, I didn't get 24.5, but I got 24.6. Similar things. But there is a lot in it. And there's a few things that have surprised me that are not in the, the release notes. So we're going to go through everything that you get. And this is one of the surprising things. Look at this. What happens when you move it like that? It covers up the controls, but look, they come below. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. And we're going to look at it right now. Now's back talking Tesla. My car is a 2019 Model 3, but this video is correct for all models and all years of the Tesla, including yours. Please subscribe and you'll get the latest releases and I can provide personal help with the features and enhancements if you get stuck. Hello, I'm over here. Okay, the first thing we do is look at the release notes. To do that, if you've never done it before, it's very easy. All you do is you press the car icon here and then you go down to software and then you scroll up so it says blue release notes. You hit the release notes and then we see what we got in 24.6. And the first thing it says is Tesla profiles. Tesla profiles, keep your settings and preferences synchronized across all supported vehicles using your Tesla account, including mirrors, seats, steering, wheels, adjustments, autopilot driving, climate control, preferences, navigation, media, data sharing, preferences. You can set up all Tesla profiles from driving profile settings and change your profile picture from the Tesla mobile app. So you can do all of that and take it with you, which is brilliant. The second is blind spot cameras. We have wanted this for a long time because the problem with it normally is when you indicate it here, put it back into the position, my hand blocks it, I can't really see it, it's awkward. Even though I've got a tilting screen, I can tilt it over. It doesn't really help it. So what they've done, we're going to show you that. And this is very interesting. So what they're telling you it does in the, in the notes, it says adjust the placement of your blind spot cameras on your display by dragging the camera feed. The camera feed will appear in the same position when your blinker is active. To enable this, tap controls, autopilot, automatic blind spot cameras. So first of all, if you haven't got it on your screen, let's do that because this is the initial thing that you haven't got. And if you haven't got it on your screen, even though when you hit the camera button, which is your backup reverse, you may not have that. And you think, where is that? So all you do is this little arrow here and you turn that on and lift it up. But to get to it, you need to go in to autopilot. So you hit the little icon, autopilot, you scroll up and there this should be on. The automatic blind spot camera show side repeater cameras when turn signal is on. So if it's not on and you go, oh, I can't find it and you hear it clicking, but you can't see it. Turn this on and now it will appear. Now, this is where the fun starts, right? Because this is what you can do with it. When you lift it up, it gives you two other positions here and here. What happens when you move it like that? It covers up the controls, but look, they come below. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. So it remembers where it is and they're there. Now we'll move it to the other position, which looks like a good position. I know it's across the map, but it looks good. But look, they've changed a few things in order to make it fit at the top. They've moved this. See the indicator up there? we put it onto this for you. You can see it. It's been lifted right up. And what I mean by that, let's have a look at what it was before. Now, another thing they've done, which is brilliant. They've added the map on the top as opposed to on the bottom, which means that you can see it. And when it is on, it actually doesn't obscure the map. And what I mean by that is, let me explain it to you. And we cover the map and we do an indicated turn, look, it's right at the top now. And you would think that when you indicate with your indicator, it would block it. Watch, no, it comes underneath. 
So that is really clever because now it can't, let's stop that flashing, it comes underneath. So you don't lose your map. And it's quite interesting because if you keep it in the top of that position, which I think I probably will keep it because I don't want to block the map on the left. So I'll keep it there because I don't really want to block that side in case I have the map down and then it's right across the map. I think ideally that's probably the best position for it. And as you see, as you're driving, the car itself is dropped below. So everything comes in its right position, um, which makes that very convenient. And that in itself is one of the best things. And by the way, that is all undocumented. So I haven't told you that it does all this, but now you can see it does. I do love this before we go. Look, I think it's great that we can move it. But one thing they did tell us that we haven't got yet is in V11, which I covered last year, people asked that they wanted the whole of this screen to come alive, that we have it for the same position as the main camera itself. We wanted the whole screen of that and Elon said he was going to do it. So I guess it's stages. I suspect they're going to do bit by bit because that would be great wouldn't it that as it, as you came on and you wanted to see your screen you've got full screen not just a little part of the screen that would really be useful but baby steps it's there it's working and it's great we can now have it moved around and it's better convenient i've still got a problem with my nighttime camera um which i may have to take the camera apart and fix it because unless tesla are not going to do it they know it's a problem and they're not going to do it even though they should. So that in itself, we will have a look at the next part on the release notes. Traffic along the route. What that is, is it's navigation improvements. And what it says, any slow traffic condition along your navigation route are now shown prominently as part of the route line of the map. This feature requires premium connectivity. So guys, if you haven't got premium connectivity, you haven't got it. What a shame. But I suspect, and people have said, that if you connect your hotspot to your phone, then you'll be able to have it. So that's something good too. Now I've got is driver profile improvements. This is an interesting one. So it's not Tesla profiles. This is driver profiles. Any navigation recently or favourites will now be saved active in driver profiles. So say you've got your home and everything else. That will now stay in your driver's profile. Great. Now, there's a few, another undocumented thing. What is it? Yes, watch. Show tyre pressure. Now, you don't have to wait for the car to drive somewhere to show it. It shows its previous tyre pressure and it says recommended cold pressure front 42 and rear 42. But we go one stage further. If you have got on your app 4.12.0, and I brought out a little video about that. It was only a quick minute. But if you haven't got that, go to the App Store after my video and download it. Because you can now see the tyre pressure on your screen like this on your app. Now, this is great in itself, but even better... I didn't have it so I was like where is it and as you see on the top there's a little PSI if you haven't got that PSI then all you need to do is log out and log in of the app and then it will come back and that's what I did and then it appeared so we have it and that's great so now you've got on your app you can see the tire pressure brilliant now let me tell you about a problem I had if you're like me and you download it and you get stuck and it stayed at 50 percent i phoned up the tesla service roadside assistance and to find that all you do is you go into the screen here you go into service you scroll down and you see there's the number ring 0162845060 and they said, what you need to do is you press the thumb wheels and it will come back. But it didn't. 
So then they said, we'll reset it at our end. It didn't work. I phoned them again and they said, we're going to get the actual online. We have somebody that monitors the updates and everything. 24 hour service back up in the States and we'll get them to fix it. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Bear in mind, I tried to load it up at two o'clock and I wanted to get the film out yesterday and I couldn't. I didn't get it updated to my phone until about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, all of a sudden, my phone came to life and it said it's uploading. It uploaded it, it took a while and it downloaded it completely to the, the car. And when I got in there, I found everything I am telling you about now. So be patient. If it's a problem, call in the Tesla helpline roadside assistance they will do all the necessary things to get your app working so don't put up with it you don't need to do anything else if you can't get it and it, it does stall then you'll get it if you're having a 12 volt problem battery and it's giving you errors and stuff check out this video here and you'll be able to do it anyway till the next one i'll be seeing you